Hi students! Today we are going to make something called notan artwork. What is notan? Notan is actually a Japanese term that refers to light and dark harmony. It's a very simple art making process where you don't get distracted by other elements like color, texture. Instead, you are only focusing on the light and the dark of the piece. So in this piece, you will learn what's called a positive space and you will also learn what's called a negative space. You will also learn about organic shapes, meaning shapes with irregular edges, and you will also learn how to create symmetry by just flipping your paper cutout. So let's begin. Okay, so let's get our things ready. You need a piece of black color paper, and then you need a piece of art block. If you don't have art block, you can also use an A4 paper, a pencil, scissors, and some glue. Alright, your black color paper has to be smaller than your white paper. Now my black color paper is a little bit too big for my white paper so I'm just gonna cut it smaller into a square. So I have a scrap piece here, I'll just use this one. So I'm just cutting it into a square. If you think using a ruler to do this stuff will be easier, then you, yeah, just feel free to do that. Now I have my black color square ready. Now when you are creating your notan, you can start with drawing a line first so that you can cut according to the line. Or you can just straight away use your scissors and just cut freehand. For demonstration purpose, I'll just use a white pen so that you can see where I'm drawing. I'm just going to show you what it means by positive and negative space. Say I draw a line here. Just an abstract line that has no meaning. Now if I cut this out, if I cut this space out, this is going to become a negative space because we already cut this part out. But in Notan, you're going to take this cut out and flip it and stick it on this side. So let me show you what that means. I'm just going to cut it out following the line. If you want to cut straight away freehand uh, without drawing any lines, yes, you can do so as well. So this shape that I just drew is actually called an organic shape. An organic shape has very irregular edges. So I've cut out this shape. So later on, I'm just going to flip it over and paste it like this. This is the principle of notan. Basically, you're cutting out and then you're flipping and sticking down on the other side to create a mirror image. This space right here, because it's already cut out, this is called a negative space. And this part is called the positive space. Whereas this background over here is the negative space and this black area here is the positive space. So notan is all about playing with the positive and negative cutouts. You can also cut out more shapes inside this piece. I'm going to show you how. Let's create some patterns. While I'm drawing the lines, you'll notice that I am drawing organic shapes. I don't really have any actual idea of how I want the final outcome to be like. I'm really trusting my hand and letting it do what it wants. When you're cutting out the pieces, you want to try and cut it carefully because you need to keep all the pieces. If you're cutting out a lot of small tiny pieces, uh, it will be better if you quickly arrange them back where you cut them out from. Just in case the tiny pieces don't go missing later on. And now when you're done cutting, you just kind of want to try and arrange it back. And there, I have really one side down. 
So you just need to go ahead and do the same for all the four sides. But you want to remember something. If you start your line on this side, you want to end your line somewhere on this side as well. Don't go starting from this side and then you go ending on this side. That is going to be very confusing later on. So go ahead, go and draw out some random patterns or you can just straight away cut it freehand using your scissors. I'm just going to draw some wave down here and maybe some irregular patterns on top. Alright, when you're done cutting out all your pieces, just try and arrange them again before you start pasting them down. You want to make sure that the positive and negative space are symmetrical. Alright, I think mine is done. I'm just going to start sticking them down slowly. Okay, you want to stick the main piece down first, alright? The one that's in the middle, stick this down first. Apply the glue to all the edges, especially if there's like small pieces like this. You want to apply your glue generously over each piece so that it doesn't come out. Then kind of paste it in the middle. Before you paste your centerpiece, you want to look on all four sides and check if there's enough space to paste your cutout as well. You don't want to put your centerpiece all the way to the left or all the way to the right. You want to make sure that you have space around it. Then you just start slowly assembling the cutouts. When you're pasting, you kind of want to make sure that it's symmetrical. Like this one is <laughs> not symmetrical because I forgot to flip it. Line them up to the edge like this. And for this one, if you don't know how to flip it, just put it back where it was and then just flip it like that. If you forgot where your pieces are meant to go, you want to put it back where you cut them out from. Put the glue and then just flip it like that. Just check that all the loose pieces are stuck down properly. Just add more glue if there's any pieces that's popping up. And there, a very simple knot-on artwork is done. You learned about positive and negative space. And you also learn how to create cutouts called organic shapes, meaning shapes with irregular edges. I hope you had fun with this simple cutout activity. 
see you another time. Bye.